So one of the things we really need to understand um, in fusion is what happens to the surfaces of the components in the vessel. So we need to understand deposits on the surface of the vessel, and we also need to understand fuel retention on the surface of the vessel. So we've got several techniques to do this. We've had laser-induced desorption with quadrupole mass spectrometry, lid QMS, and this was a technique where we fired the laser into the vessel and measured the gases coming off. On the other extreme, when we go into the vessel, we can remove tiles and then we can analyse those tiles later in the laboratory. But now we're going to explore a third technique, which is laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy. And this, this time we're going to take a laser into the vessel on the remote control arm, and we're going to fire the laser at close proximity to the tiles. This will remove deposits from the surface of the tiles and we'll be able to measure the removed um, deposits and determine what was on the surface. So the LIPS technology consists of a very fast laser in principle that uh, uh, and a series of optics that we are focusing the laser on a specific target. Um, we have some argon inflow or at the region of the, the actual uh, target and then a series of detectors that are collecting the light that is being created by, by this uh, laser pulse. This is a huge team effort and in order to, to produce and to, to come with uh, the good outcome of this project we had to, to use the greatest minds that we have available around, uh, specialists for these type of diagnostics, uh, that they've done it in the lab very successfully but now we are making one step further. We are being helped uh, by uh, scientists from uh, Italy, uh, scientists from uh, Germany, scientists from Finland uh, and us here in uh, UKEA. The initial tests uh, have been taken uh, place in Finland at the VTT lab. Over there just because they had um, a controlled area where we were able to shoot on the jet specific type of samples. Actually samples that have been collected from, from jet in the previous uh, campaigns. We had to fiddle around with, with the optics in such a way to obtain the best alignment uh, needed for, for focusing the laser, but also focusing the collection uh, uh, points. So basically VTT is coordinating the whole experiment from the Eurofusion side, as I said previously. And then um, Enea made the uh, design of these lips in closer. So the whole design was made uh, in Italy and the other institutes and uh, universities are involved with the um, spectroscopy. So we are using basically three different spectrometers and all these universities and, in, and research institutes are involved with the spectroscopy. So we first got involved as Investor Decommissioning uh, with Jet Science uh, when they sought our expertise to take what was uh, otherwise a, a lab setup of LIBS uh, and turn that into a remotely deployable and operational system uh, which is what we've done for many decades here uh, in the remote handling team. The LIBS tool itself would normally be a, a static sort of fixed optical system in a lab setting so we've taken that and packaged it into a tool which can be handled by the mascot system. We've developed new and bespoke deployment uh, methods for the umbilical um, obviously coming from a clean area in vessel. We've also developed uh, new virtual reality scenarios as well so that we can use that system as we do with all other in vessel operations to ensure that the locations we're taking these measurements are exact in vessel. LIBS has been a fantastic case study for sort of stakeholder and communications management. Uh, we've worked with numerous labs, uh, government departments and uh, Eurofusion colleagues uh, across Europe um, often on a daily, uh, weekly basis. Although the technology inside the LIBS is, is very bespoke, uh, the, the experience that many of our new operators will gain through, uh, through deploying it, through operating it in vessel, uh, is hugely valuable. I was witnessing the start of the experiment and I was the scientific coordinator and I have to say that was, I was really excited about getting these uh, optical spectrum measured with, uh, with the different spectrometers. And also moving the, the lips in closer using the masked manipulator was really exciting. 
taking the, the remote handling gear into the vacuum vessel takes a lot of time, but I didn't realize that it is so complicated. Of course, now the situation is, is different from the previous shutdowns because of the DT experiments, which were done in 22 and 23. It was somewhat frustrating to see these delays, uh, I mean, from day to day. But on the other hand, I can understand uh, all these issues with, for example, with the ventilation. And as I said, the DTE free and campaign made the life a lot more complicated. And of course, I understand the, all the complications uh, uh, due to the DTE free campaign. The actual uh, scope of LIBS is to prove that we can uh, do it in a, a fusion uh, device and then eventually um, the next generation of fusion devices will, 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 uh, will have the same approach and then they will be using it uh, as well. Uh, this is not for jet only, but you can have information that you can only get while you remove tiles and components out and chop the bin pieces and make smaller samples. And by the time you get the, the results with LIBS, you skip all of these steps and you go locally you test your uh, measurements, you see exactly what are the, the deposits that you've created after a few months of campaign, and then you know how to continue uh, with your operations. So this is definitely something that we would want, from our perspective, for all the fusion devices to be taken on board once we prove the concept here.